Good morning, everybody. I'm Irina Viktorovna, and we uh, today we continue your revising for state examinations. Our topic today is prepositions, part two. Uh, there are some certain verbs in English which do not take any prepositions, while in Russian we use prepositions in these phrases. For example, address somebody, answer questions. Approach somebody or something, attack somebody or something, climb something. For example, climbers, they climb um, rocks or mountains, cross something, we cross the street, cross the road, divorce somebody, doubt somebody, enter the room, uh, enter the institute, hope you will enter institutes or universities soon. Uh, follow somebody or something, influence or affect somebody or something, join somebody or something, leave something, marry somebody, mention something, need something, play different games or play musical instruments, read something, refuse something, watch somebody or something. And here you have the table with these phrases and translations. Uh, now please prepare your copy books and pencils or pens and we are going to do the task. Here is the exercise for you to do. Uh, translate the fragments or the sentences. Please pause the video and do the task. Ready? Let's check it. Uh, she followed me into the kitchen. When she entered the room, the house turned. I've never played chess. I want her to watch the kids or to watch the children tomorrow. You may easily reach Boston from here. Most wild animals don't attack people. He refused all my offers of help. Well, the second part of our today's lesson is um, verbs with prepositions which are different in English and in Russian language. We say apologize to somebody, извиняться перед кем-то, decide on something, and here you see the translation at once. Congratulate on something. We will congratulate you on finishing school soon. Uh, depend on somebody or something. Judge by or on something. Object to somebody, something, prepare for something, reply to something, accuse somebody of something, charge somebody with something, address something to somebody, ask somebody for something, ask somebody for help, for example, or for advice, cure somebody of something. Uh, you may um, be cured of different terrible diseases. Divide something by something. Invite somebody to something. Invite your friends to your birthday party, for example. Prepare something for something. For example, for example, prepare cakes for the birthday party. Uh, well, and now uh, again the task, pause the video and do the task, please. Ready? Let's check the task. He apologized to me for losing my book. Uh, they accused her of shoplifting. I am going to invite everyone uh, to my birthday party. The K 
coach congratulate, congratulated us on winning the final. Uh, you shouldn't judge by or on a parent's loan. Uh, they were prepared for the worst. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. This medicine will cure you. Uh, of your cough. Well, so uh, the next task, the next part of our exam, of our uh, lesson, exam preparation. Uh, so here are the phrases with money. Uh, we often speak about money, so I hope these phrases will be useful for you. Uh, we make, own or save money. Uh, if we want uh, to borrow money at interest, it means that we will get some uh, some money for for uh, for borrowing. To be pressed for money when you have some financial problems. To be out of money. You do not have any financial problems because you just do not have money be made of money it means to be very extremely rich uh, to be in the money it means that you have money mm, not so much as if you are made of the money uh, there is money in something it means that this business can be very profitable invest money into something when you want your business to develop you invest money into it Marry for money means that you want to have, uh, you always want to have some profit. You think, first of all, about money. You are not a romantic person. Uh, have money on you. It means that you just have some cash or some credit card with a sum. And we often pay cash or in cash. We pay uh, by or with credit card and sometimes by check. If um, uh, the goods cost less than usual, so they are on sale or they are sold at a lower price. And if you want to sell something, you put this thing for sale. For example, to put the car for sale. You can put the car for sale. Well, and now, again, the exercise for you to do. Choose a proper prepositional phrase. Pause the video and do the task. Let's check it. Would you like to pay with your credit card? I'll pay in cash. The shop was offering since six months interest-free credit on electrical goods. We are we have to cut down on expenses. So it means that we are out of money. We do not have enough money. No, you can't have a computer. The same problem. We are pressed for money. Mm -hmm. Here is a mistake. Not we are not pressed for money, but we are pressed for money. Uh, the next, uh, our neighbors put their house for sale last week. Okay, and now uh, your home task. Exercise number one. Uh, translate the fragments of the sentences. Exercise number two, complete the sentences using the verbs in the box and add the appropriate preposition. And exercise number three, translate the fragments of the sentences. Please send your works to your teachers today till 9 p.m. Uh, thank you and the lesson is over. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.